this photograph was taken here in Dayton. Uh, this is Edward Deeds, and this is Orville Wright, and then over here is Charles Kettering. And this is Henry Ford. Who came down to he and his fellow inventors just called themselves the Barn Gang. In his time, Kettering was Can you imagine the collective genius that was right here in this house? Not to mention the collective wealth. It was actually Mrs. Deed's love for music that inspired her to build the carillon in honor of her husband. I think that's so romantic. Honey, would you build me a carillon one day? As you wish, my dear. Hello! Neat place, isn't it? Uh-huh. What are you holding in your hands there, Chief? Oh, this? Uh, I was looking around and saw this cool mirror. Is this yours? No, I have the curtain for this estate, but this belongs to Farmer Deeds. Oh, right. Uh, well, here you go. And now, this is yours. Oh, no. I couldn't. Uh... I gotta go. Brady, huh? Uh-huh. Brady, Colonel Deeds intended this for you, and it's yours now. This isn't just any old mirror. This mirror is for you to help you work. Brady. 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 Oh, yes. So what do you think? Do you like it? Did the contractors get it right? You know. See how the elevator on, on this right flyer is out front? It was one of the last times they did that. So, so anyway, yes, it's, it's perfect. Great. I will see you at the party in less than an hour. Yes? R right, yeah. He does that sometimes. But he will. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. Seriously, I'm it's really fine. sorry. It's fine. Fine. Honestly. Fine. I was just texting my driver who seems to be off somewhere missing an action. You're... you're Gary Sandy. Yep. I used to be that guy. Anyway. Have a good one. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. I know you. I mean, I know your work. I mean, I've watched like every episode of WKRP. You were great. I... You are great. I, television, soaps, Broadway, movies. You've done it all. And you went to school here in Dayton. Fairmont, right? Right, right. Fairmont, yes. Yeah, yeah, with Alice and Janney. Uh, no, no, not with Alice and Janney. She's uh, quite a bit younger than me. Thank you very much for bringing that up. Uh, uh, sorry, right. Of course. I, I'm Brady Cress. Great. Nice to meet you, Brady. So what were you doing down there on the floor? Oh, I was, I was reviewing all the inlay uh, that they've worked in these aviation history into the terrazzo. What, you're a designer of some sort? No, no, no. I, I'm the president of Dayton History, and sometimes I've, I've called in to review projects that relate to the region's history. Why? But what brings you to town? Well, I'm here to visit friends for the holidays, but tonight I am going out to the big tree lighting ceremony at Carillon Park. You're kidding. 
I'm also the director of Carillon Park. You should be our guest for the event tonight. In fact, we're having a party before the tree lighting with all of our seasonal staff. Many of them are theater students. They would love to meet you. I'm sure you're busy, but would well, you consider ready, it? Ready. One of the things I've learned in all of my years in the business, I accept all adulation. So you'll join you us? You bet I will, especially since my ride doesn't seem to be around at all. So I, I assume you have a, a ride for us? Oh, absolutely. What's this? It's a 1911 Model T Ford. I can see that, but why? Yeah, no, let me grab that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, well, Gary, but I need to get in first. Uh, we both have to get in from this side so I can start the car first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Just get in, we'll start the throttle. No, 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 no. I, I need to get out and still crank the car. I just need to set the throttle. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yep. I thought that all Model T's were black. Oh, well, that's true, but prior to the assembly line in 1913, Fords were available in multiple colors. You know, in fact, it was uh, Daytona and Charles Kettering that invented the fast-drying uh, automobile paint. It took the process from days to just an hour. In fact, there's this great story about it. No, no, no. I know. I know. Don't get in yet. Don't. Don't get in. So Charles Kettering actually invented the uh, self-starter in 1912, along with the ignition system and lighting system. <sighs> really revolutionized the entire industry. Yeah. Okay, now you can get in now, Gary. Oh, I can get in now? Yeah, no, you sure fine. I can get in now? You don't have to come back out and help more out here? Yeah, you'll be fine. Just hop in. This is perfect. This is nice. Does uh, this thing take leaded gasoline? Uh, no, actually, leaded gasoline wasn't invented until 1921. But uh, with uh, Thomas Midgley uh, working with Kettering, it was one of those Dayton inventions that came out of Kettering's laboratory. He should have worked on windows, a heater. Maybe Kettering should have taken the time to work on those kind of things, huh? Yeah, actually, he was working on uh, cooling, not heating. <laughs> Yeah, just like the lead of gasoline, he and Thomas Midgley invented the miracle compound called Freon for refrigeration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can you believe that? No. Uh, yeah. So Gary, the whole park is 65 acres. We've got 30 buildings, including Deeds Carillon, which is Ohio's largest, with 57 bells. And the first time the community heard it play was on Christmas Eve, 1941. We've got all the lights up on the tree, 100 strands, 20,000 bulbs. You know, we'll have a couple thousand people show up at the event tonight. It really is amazing. As you visit the park's historical exhibits today, so Mrs. Deeds built the Carillon as a tribute to her husband, so we have her welcome people to the park. <laughs> yeah. And here's our replica of the 1902 Wright Glider. Their patent is based on this. <laughs> but <laughs> party's upstairs, though. You'll see the 1905 airplane that my friend Orville Wright Well, Gary, you can tell you're a date when you're served square cut pizza, <laughs> Mike Sells, Esther Price, alongside Dayton inventions like the Cheez It, the Pop Top Can, and multiple patents for ice cube trays. Dayton taught the world how to party. Yes, indeed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get this started. Hey, everybody, have your attention. What did you to help me welcome a uh, legend of the screen, of the uh, television, of the stage? Dayton native Gary Sanders. <laughs> no, 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 please, please. Uh, listen, everybody, seriously, it's um, nice to meet you and it's nice to be home. 
<laughs> Here, grab a seat. Yeah, yeah. sure. Hello, 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 hello. You know, uh, many of our seasonal staff are theater students. Oh, so I'm sure they'd love to pick your brain about the entertainment industry. Sure. All right. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh huh. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> oh yeah, there's always a lot of people out there. Oh yes, it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'll see you in just a minute. Chris, I'm headed out there right now. What's up? Don't bother, I'm coming to you. We have a problem. I'm coming to you. What's that? I, I didn't hear what you said. Can you repeat that, please? Stay put, I'm coming to you. We have a problem, a big problem. Which brings me to the absolutely one of my favorite lines from the old show. Am I a guard or one of the nuts? <laughs> it, was, it was brilliant writing, it really was. Attention everyone. I think most of us are finally here, but before we get to the tree lighting, Brady has promised to share where some of the ideas for the new exhibits and additions here at the park have come from. Sure. Thanks, Rachel. Well, I, first of all, uh, you know, it's the donors that spur the growth here, not, not me. And of course, everything we build here depends on all of you and our volunteers to make it work. Uh, you know, it's been since 1950, the whole 65 acres continues to expand. What happened? I tried to tell him I tried and now this is what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Tell who? What happened? The tree. It, it won't light. What do you mean it won't light? How's that even possible? I don't know. A uh, switch or a fuse or something. I, I'm just now finding out about this from the electrician. Great. Well, we better go tell Brady. Around the community to keep us going and keep us growing. Really great. Brady, you are not telling the whole story. Rachel. Oh, come on. You said you would. Well, okay. All right, well, as many of you might guess, the inspiration for the park really comes from all the inventors and entrepreneurs that have changed the world from right here in Dayton. But uh, in fact, many of the expansions for the park uh, come, from, come from a place that might be, well, hard to believe. This smear belonged to Colonel Deeds. And uh, boy, it was gifted to me uh, many years ago. When I was a boy, about 11 years old, I first experienced Colonel Deed's home, Moraine Farm. My father, who worked at NCR for over 35 years, used to let me uh, tag along to parties that they would have for uh, their new sales trainees. So I loved history, even as a kid. So I took the opportunity to duck away from the rest of the tour and explore the estate on my own. That sounds hard to believe. <laughs> Anyway, I found myself alone up in the observatory, and that's where I found this mirror. Brady, this mirror is for you to use in the future to help you work on one of the Colonel's projects. Remember, imagination comes from here, and enthusiasm comes from here. Only if you have an enthusiastic spirit and an imaginative mind will this mirror work for you. And ever since then, I've used this mirror for guidance. Believe it or not, it allows me to talk directly with the innovators from Dayton's past. Whenever I'm thinking about a new plans for the park, I just uh, call upon uh, Deeds, the Wright brothers, Kettering, even Patterson. Is he a guard or one of the nuts? I think both. He's our father. Oh. Question, does the mirror ever talk back? <laughs> Well, yes. In fact, I thought uh, all of you might like to meet, let's say, uh, Edward Deeds. I gotta call you back. Colonel Deeds, it's Brady again. I'd like to introduce Brady. you to the staff. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, Brady, we really need to talk to you. It's urgent. I'll just take a minute. Hello there. Oh, sure. Yeah, excuse me, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, I gotta, I gotta take it. Some people 
slow down. What's going on? There's a problem with the tree. What kind of problem? It won't light, that kind of problem. You've got to be kidding me. The electrician who installed everything says he's working on it. Where's the electrician now? I think he's over at the brewery. What's he doing at the brewery? Okay, uh, just give me a minute. I'll, I'll meet you over at the brewery. Mr. Kettering. Hello there. I could really use your help with Caroline. Major electrical issue. The entire city is expecting a tree lighting tonight. I've always said, high achievement always takes place in the framework of high expectation. You're right. Thank you. So how was the pickup from the airport? Well, actually, it didn't happen. I had to uh, hitch a ride. Are you serious? Gary, I'm sorry. This wow. is unacceptable. Don't worry about it. Honestly, it worked out better. Yeah, but I paid a fortune for this driver. Yeah? Get a receipt. the electrician. The man that we normally use wasn't available this year. So this guy was the only one available at the last minute. But we got a good deal. Is this the guy? Hey, Brady. Hey, Sam. Brady, Chris. Oh, well, uh, really nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, what a great park, huh? <laughs> Did you know they brew the beer right here in front of everyone with wood fires. Ladle it in by hand and ferment it in real oak barrels? Yes, I am well aware of that. What is wrong with the tree? Uh, right. Oh, the tree! Oh! <laughs> um, it won't light, so there's that. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Why not? Well, we, uh, we installed a safety switch at the very top of the tower that stays off while we wire everything. Uh, you know, safety first. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, we, um, we forgot to flip the switch back on. <laughs> Yikes, huh? <laughs> uh, the switch, it is at the very top of the tree? Uh, yeah. Good news, though. We just bring the big crane back in and bada-bing, we're, uh, we're back in business. We'll probably get it back here in a week or two. 30 minutes to tree lighting! Hey! Or not. I do not have a week. The problem to solve is to light the tree now with what we have. Guys, a problem well stated is a problem half solved. Charles F. Kettering? Come on, guys. Yes. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. We'll beat you with the tree lighting. Yeah. Gary, 
I've been trying all day to reach you. Yes, sir. Did you know it was Daytonian Joe Desch who broke the German U-boat code and helped put an end to World War II? Uh, Gary, that was Alan Turing in England. Didn't you see the imitation game? I know that, I know that. But listen, the Germans got suspicious and they added a fourth rotor to their Enigma machine and it was an engineer here in Dayton who broke that code and helped the Allies win the war in the Atlantic. Uh, okay, thank you for that, Gary. But listen... And... Puffy bicycles, the Gregor golf equipment, the soapbox derby, the cash register, the barcode scanner, the yellow pages, all from Dayton, Ohio. That's great, but I'm here in Los Angeles, and this is where I'm trying to finalize this deal. We've got the studio's approval, and so I need you to the details ironed out so that we can move forward with this. Buddy. I gotta call you no, back. No, 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 don't hang up, Gary. Gary, I've been looking everywhere for you. I could really use your help. Sure. So the tree won't light, and we don't have much time to fix it. Well, maybe you should have used stay-lit bulbs invented by John Janning. That is exactly what I was thinking. Do you know that Janning also perfected the LCD screen? I didn't know that. Doesn't surprise me, though. There was a time when Dayton held more patents per capita than any city in the country. Huh. People all around the world use Dayton Innovations every day. It's why I say you can't go a day without Dayton. Well, and I can't go another minute without using the bathroom. No, 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 there's no time. You should have met Daytonian Ayula Carter. She developed a portable potty chair that uh, folded up like luggage. I could have used that about now. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> she sure is. <sighs> Ada McCall's had the largest printing facility under one roof on the planet. Oh, no, I am talking about Bo. Oh, right. Yes, oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I know her, you know. Really? Yeah, her and her husband, John Corbett. He's a short little guy. Okay, well, we gotta go. staging area for a future sports heritage exhibit. Did you know the first game of the NFL was played here in 1920? You're kidding. Stay here. First kickoff. First field goal. First touchdown. All here in Dayton. We're gonna need this. Yeah, cash registers, barcode scanners, micro encapsulation, micro printing, even card random access memory. It's all from right here in Dayton. <laughs> Genius, Gary. Genius. Yeah. Just stay right here. I'll be right back. During your time here. 
Enjoy your visit. Here, get in, Gary. Don't you need to crank it first? No, no, not with this and Mr. Kettering's help. Mr. Kettering, I sure could use your self-starter right now. Thank you. Here, hold this. Hello there. Carillon Parks, Wright Brothers National Museum. The original 1905 Wright Flyer III. It's incredible. I mean, it's, it, it's awe-inspiring. It, it, it's, it's the only airplane designated a National Historic Landmark. Orville Wright himself designed this exhibit. He considered this the world's first practical airplane. Wilbur Wright flew this plane for over 39 minutes just down the road over Huffman Prairie. I turned all the alarms off. Gary, let's see what she can still do. Wait a minute. What are you gonna do? The entire flying machine, built of wood and fabric, engineered to perfection, with metal fasteners, tubing, sprockets, chain, spoke wire, everything you'd expect from two bicycle mechanics. Gas, spark. All right, the rest of these cables go from the hand controls back to the rudder in the back, the elevator in the front, and from this hip cradle out to the end of the wings for wing warping, for smooth turns. Yaw, pitch, and roll. All the fundamentals to flight right here from 1905. Okay, it's time. Grab that propeller. Just like the Model T, we're gonna to have to do some hand propping to fire the engine. These spin in opposite directions to keep the torque balanced. Once this thing fires, it's gonna get really interesting in here. How, how are we gonna get it out? You ready? Three, two, one, go! There are hundreds and hundreds of people up there. They expect to see a tree of light. We don't have a tree of light. I don't know what to do. Do you have any suggestions? Maybe we should postpone it. Brady. Uh, Brady is still working on it. Well, where is he? What's the plan? The plan. <laughs> well, the plan is kind of up in the air. He's going to flip the switch. He needs altitude.
Brady, it's Orville. Wilbur and I made this machine to work as one with the pilot. Trust our engineering. And don't sacrifice airspeed for altitude. Just gently pull back on the elevator. Make tiny adjustments. Brady. 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 Uh, what? You dozed off. You were having a, a dream. <laughs> oh, right. have a call. Oh, what's that? A phone call from a very important celebrity from Dayton. An actor. A very famous actor, if you know what I mean. I think I might. This is Brady Cress. May I help you? Brady! Brady Cress. This is Gary Sandy. Oh, Gary, I, you know, I just had a dream. I, I, I mean, never mind. Um, I'm so glad you called. I'm a huge fan. Uh, how can I help? Listen, Brady, I, I, I don't have a lot of time, but I had to reach out to you. I got this crazy vision for a show, and I, I wanted to tell you about it while it was fresh. The story begins with us literally running into each other at the Dayton airport. You writing this down? Oh, of course. Great. Okay, now, imagine that there's a problem. With the carillon, the tree won't light. We tap into all the great Dayton talent. Rob Lowe, Mark Sheen, Allison Jenny, John Legend, Nancy Cartwright, Dave Chappelle, me, you name it. We all band together to save the event. Well, essentially, the piece writes itself. Oh, 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 and I also got an idea for the right flyer, too. Listen to what I'm saying, Brady gonna be epic. The magic of Christmas is here. The streets are singing with cheer. Snowflakes are falling and everyone's calling. The magic of Christmas is here. The magic of Christmas is near. A countdown till presents appear Houses are glowing and love will be flowing With every excitable cheer Lights on the houses and sweets in the stockings Maybe some mistletoe hung above Sit by the fire and sing Christmas carols A chorus of all that you love The magic of Christmas is here the streets are lit up with cheer Bells will be ringing and everyone's singing the magic 